to look on the bright side of things. Let's yeah. see if Team Spirit can manage to bounce back here heading into Nuke. I think having Dima instead of a coach is a big change, right? Like these players will have played, some of these players will have played with him in the past in other teams and, and you know, more experienced individual rather than just a coach of the Spirit roster. So this is a good change, this is a good substitute stand in, whatever you want to call it, but it's still not Mia. And it's still not a 2 0 that Spirit were running and gunning for back on Dust 2. They had it in the palm of their hand. Ooh, that was a dig for two damage. Magic gets crossed down towards B safely. Chopper's going to get tagged on the way down, but an Armada tees in this lower bomb site. Cold, quick kill. Looking for a little more as well. Doesn't want to hang around forever. They're going to hunt him down in the vent. He doesn't realize they're chasing him from the sidelines. Magic's with the frag and Spirit with the B bomb site. Not fully contained, though, because B Mass has already rotated ramp side with Nico and side by side. Phase are holding on to lower, not letting Spirit get control here. Going to open the doors and try and move into B. Kind of grinded to a halt though, and there's a lot of players here for phase. Nico and Bmas holding down the ramp. Bmas actually dropped down behind the cubby. Magic's getting picked on up with the USP, just tapping him down from afar. Bomb plant needs to come through here as a bare minimum for Team Spirit, and they will get it planted, but that is it. That is the end of their run in the pistol round. Defuse is going to come on in from phase. They'll go 1 0 up to kickstart Nuke as they look to get off to a rip-roaring start. Yeah, worth noting, this is obviously a great map for Spirit. As the analyst said, coming into this game, Spirit won the veto, without a doubt. And that was clear, even on Dust 2. So, yeah, with Nuke being in the in the cannon, even with the problems for Spirit, they're still going to be on a map where they're very comfortable. And at least these four players are. I can't speak to, to Dima's experience on Nuke, but, you know, it's just, uh, at the end of the day, it's one of the seven maps. We all know them, we all love them. Spirit, they 16-3 Fnatic on this map yesterday, I'm sure you remember, Harry. Off the back of an extremely dominant T-side as well, and that's where they're starting here. Will FaZe let them get away with as much? I don't think so. At least not the pistol round. FaZe finding rifles in the second. They know it's going to be a low economy investment for Spirit, coming in with a full buy in the third. And so FaZe's chance to make a nice clean round happen here with minimal casualties is on the cards. Ooh. Just about avoiding that wall bang. And man, if minimal casualties doesn't sound good to you, then I don't know what will. Let's see. Nico down here in secret. Might be about to go on a bit of a tear. Armored this M4, lots of fleshy, unarmored opponents outside. So it should only be a matter of time before Nico springs to life. He's now peeking up and over, and he does spot the plethora of players here for Team Spirit. Not really many left now, though, as Nico has hunted them to oh, extinction yeah. almost. However, there's a little ray of hope. Magic still alive, still a threat, now no longer. And so it is just Dima and some die young left up in this two on four. Yeah, and even though Nico's gone down, that should be hopefully the last death here for FaZe in this round. They want to get as many rifles as they can in the follow-up, and BMAS will make it so. Three kills, or, well, two kills there, three in the game, two in the round. It's going to be FaZe up to 2-0. Spirit coming in with their first rifle round here. No AWP in play just yet, but no rush to get that in play. Dima, of course, playing for a Sparta right now. Lending his hand to come and help Spirit out when they need it most. I'm sure they're very grateful. Let's see what they can do with it. Oh, this balance. He's gone yard. He's got the smokes in front of him. Of course, as I said, no AWP. Nico's looking from the garage trying to cover this cross with Brokey, drawing them in. Close smoke outside. Chopper's going to climb above it. Big risk here. He's very exposed in the smoke, but luckily gets away with his life. The deep flash keeps Nico from re-peaking, at least for a moment. And Spirit, they're actually going to concede this position, fall back a little bit, line up utility. This is going to be deep util outside for Spirit, close towards main, with a garage smoke as well thrown by one. So here's the execute for Spirit. They're going to have full dominion, full control of the yard here. Nico's pushed out. He can't do anything. Could flash through it, of course. Try and look for a gap in the smoke. Hope Spirit have made a mistake, but right now that's not looking to be the case. They're crossing. Not everyone, though. Notice that bomb is grouping on ramp Spirit. Oh, where's this one going to end up? Unlikely to see that A site. 
Have well, a look at the things. The players are secret. The rap getting taken. The fire mask holding on. It gets one. Trade is in. The secret getting controlled as well. There's a kill coming through in that lower area. And well, Team Spirit are all over this one. Magic still hanging around outside. Rain does rid him of the round, but it comes with a cost. Spirit is still taking B. They just need to get past Nico. Yeah, that's easier said than done when Nico is inside of the site. Oh. oh no, they haven't checked for it. And now the little jump scare. Nico raining down death inside of this B bomb site. Leaves it all onto Chopper in a 1v2. And they do double swing into him. They get that kill locked on in. Phase go 3 and 0 up. Now, okay, so we focused on obviously the negatives of losing Mir, but let's look at Dima. Let's, for a start, give him some praise for showing up on such short notice to help out Team Spirit. Yeah. And for anyone watching, you might think you've gone in a time machine back a few years because Dima and Sundar Young were two of the, the OGs of this Team Spirit squad, right? These two were ex teammates in this team. Dima then obviously left a, a pretty long tenure at Team Spirit uh, to, to go and pursue matters. I, I'm trying to think, I think with like a Sparta. Um, so yeah, you know, it, it, it's very nice that he's come in, stood in on such short notice to help out his old organization and some of his old friends here, particularly looking at Sumdai Young for that one. So nice to see them reunited. You bang on, Hugo, right? They do at least have some synergy. It's not that they're playing with some random yeah. that they've never met before, right? And he's just showed up today and they're like, yeah, man, like, come on, please get in the server for us. But obviously, times have changed for Spirit, and, and it's a very different look to the one Dima was familiar with. It's so just let's so see annoying. What they can do. It's just so annoying that it's like the the most crucial player on Spirit, and also in one of the hardest maps to plug and play a fifth, and also versus the best team in the group. So it's like you know, just add together all the problems here for Spirit. They're going to need solutions and fast. Right now, it's only pistols, so phase. They should be up to four here, you would assume. Spirit have a lot of control, though, and that's something that FaZe, they can be aware of, but they don't know for sure. And actually, they've lost rain to the Deagle Dink of Sundar Young. He finds it in a two-shot as Spirit get ready to climb heaven. They're actually going to opt to go lower instead, but that means getting past Bemas, who's still here on the ramp. Big reposition. Now he's got cover from that hell spot. Oh, he spotted them as well, but he's out in the open. He's wide and will not uh, uh, survive. He only gets one traded and a gun gifted to Spirit, who can just hit that big bomb site. Nico's here again, though, ready to... Up, uh, put up another fight. Oh, Magic's bested, but Chopper coming in through the double doors and even leaping up with his long old arms. He's retrieved that M4. Two on two for Faze. They'll swing the door open and they spot a man repositioning onto the ramp. They know that Sundar Young is here and they're quick to try and deal with him. They do find it. Chopper now once again in the clutch. He wasn't able to get the 1v2 off in the round prior, but this time has a chance. Half the time ticked off of this bomber. Both the players rooting in through control. Chopper finds the first, follows up with a second, and he'll put the first round on the board for Team Spirit, even grabbing the AWP. Round there was found in a partial investment round from Team Spirit. So they were saving money anyway to buy up in this following round. As a result, every player is on like five and a half grand here. They've got plenty of money. And so they'll be able to invest in whatever they like here on the Team Spirit side. Attack pause called on him for phase. No money left in the in these bank accounts. They're figuring out how they want to approach these coming rounds. As a double eco is looming. So there's probably yeah. going to be a pretty hefty investment here from phase. Maybe we see uh, maybe we see a little lobby crunch or something of the sort. He has never played against phase. I mean, talk about a trial by fire, Harry. That's uh, yeah, it's going to be difficult game for him, for Spirit, for everyone well, in that that's side. That's the thing, I'm sure for a lot of people, like the Team Spirit squad that I always remember whenever I think of Team Spirit was this original one that Dima was a part Dima's of, with like Dab, Cost, Optic, yeah. right? Like those yeah. guys. So yeah, you know, it's it's it, like in a way, right? Like obviously it sucks, there's no moving past that. It's a cool situation to see Dima playing with like the new generation of Team Spirit Whoop. and his old mate SDY alongside him. Now trades not coming through here for phase this lobby crunch has not gone their way i disbalance is going to lay the round to rest yeah. nice and quickly team spirit in with a second i will say i think it, that they can still field a good t side it's the ct side that i'm worried about right because you're going to be trying to slot dima into this setup that you have yeah and that could potentially lead to 
either, you know, you, you move players on your squad to try and make Dima feel a bit more comfortable, and then maybe they feel less comfortable as a result. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see how Team Spirit approach it. But I do think, T-side, there's still a chance they can put up uh, or feel the competitive half here. Yeah. You, know, you can just kind of unchain Dima and let him be comfortable, have the rest of the gang popping off, and Ida's balance certainly oh, is. Oh, Deary me. Okay. I'm liking this, man. Team Spirit, they're out for revenge. Yeah. They want to do right by Mir. And they're looking for this third round. They're going to find the conversion. Little to no problems. It's just how expensive can BMAS make this one. Yeah, I'm trying to think as to where Mir plays on that CT side. I think we see him in the garage. And so, you know, that's a hard position to fill for sure. But, uh, you know, Spirit, they, as long as they can adjust things, I think a, a good decision would be putting Dima somewhere like Ramp, right? A position where you can just anchor on your own. You can fall off, give information for your team. You don't have to really, you know, be involved in any huge rotations. You're just really holding onto Ramp, dropping B, and, and dealing with rushes and then being aware of hell when you lose outside. Like that's pretty much your role. It's pretty easy for the CT side. You push lobby on flanks, you go heaven on safe rotations. You know, there's not a lot to it. So yeah, that would that'd be a good position to see Dima in, but that's in the second half. Right now, Spirit are putting up a fight, Harry. They're not lying down and taking a beating from phase. And I respect that. Getting this orb raring to go. All right, it's balance again. Wobbles Brokey in this round puts him down in main. He found four on the anti-eco, just sitting at the back of the lobby, killing phase as they pushed in one by one. So this orb is clearly ready to go, and it's here to play. Nico gonna get given the orb. I was gonna say, when I saw Rain pick it up, like, where's that going? I don't see Rain orb, but does gift it over to his partner in crime. Phase a man down, Spirit going back to the yard, back to outside. Nico's taking the orb from Brokey's body and put it out here, but he doesn't jump with his knife out and therefore won't hit the cross. Does the second time around, but by that point, Spirit, they'd already crossed Harry and timing is everything. Nico doesn't play in his favor. And Spirit not only get another kill, but get full control of the yard and secret. Yeah, the rotates are denied. These Molotovs have kept FaZe out of the site. And they do deal with some die young back in lobby, so it's given them a three on four, but I still don't think they're keen to attempt this. They're at a pretty uh, awkward juncture in the game where their money just keeps getting wrecked. And saving will probably become pretty common as a result if, if this is how the rounds keep going, right? With this outside control working for Spirit, with the lower hits going their way pretty convincingly and not much being given up in the mid round. It, it kind of just hamstrings FaZe to go for these saves a lot. And this round's no exception to that. So Team Spirit gonna take the lead. They'll go 4-3 up. I tell you what, like, you know, we came into this feeling a little bit doom and gloom. Uh, obviously, now with like Dima coming in over the coach for Team Spirit, that's yeah, given them a bit a more change. firepower. And I tell you it, it would give you, it would give Team Spirit a lot of merit if they were still able to pick these series up playing with a standard. So, yeah. you know, taking the lead right now, obviously it's still early days and I really don't want to jump the gun because it is like the second half of play, I think is where things are going to get really hard for Team Spirit. But that is even more so why if they do find the victory, it would be sick. So we're going to keep up with it. We're going to keep an eye on this. Yeah, it's a hard one because when you look at like, you know, the coach versus Stan, it's like, do you want someone who knows the system and knows all the nays and knows everything you do, but isn't very good at fragging? Or do you want someone who's good at fragging, but has no idea how you play as a unit? That's a really hard question there. And, and especially on a map like Nuke, it would, you know, it, you would be inclined at times to maybe think the coach, but this smoke from rain, not the end of the world. Um, yeah, it's 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 a weird one. So I think Dima is definitely the right choice here. But you know, we see teams like North, for example, they made it work with Jumpy Man. He was he was actually performing, like not not carrying, but he was like holding his own, out fragging Gade in some of the games I saw. And uh, and obviously he just spent his entire games for North in the RTR, just setting up his team with utility. He had so many grenades in his back pocket. So yeah. Our spirit around up and with phase on low economy, Brokey's on an eco, the rest of them saving these M4s. Let's see what phase could find in this round. Rain. There we go. Finding Dima from up here. The top of heaven, now dropping Ooh. down and bringing himself to the level of team spirit. So he thinks him and Magix are gonna meet later on up in heaven. Chopper is Dealt with Nico down here in secret. And Magic's oh. wrapping down beneath heaven. Able to make quick work of rain. 
Magic takes that peak a hell of a lot as yeah. well when he's fighting for, for Heaven. I do love it. He loves that little great Ooh. position. And now with Heaven secured, this is a very hard round for FaZe. They've got to concede the A bomb site. Cold has taken Lobby in response, but he's not going to find anything from this push other than safety. Um, and, you know, just be allowed to hang around to come in for the retake. And that's if there's even a retake attempted, which at this point, I don't think there will be. There is still money for FaZe, and maybe with that kill found from Cold, there's a chance they go for it. There's a flash on BMAS as well. But, you know, while he can flash through Heaven, I, I don't think that would help Cold in any capacity. And it would also just give up his position. So they're still hanging around. They're still waiting outside of the site, but that kill really should solidify it. It will be the save here for FaZe. Five on the board now for Team Spirit. As they are coming to life over on this T side. And also, Hugo, to kind of add on to your conversation about, you know, do you choose someone who knows your strategies intricately yeah. uh, with the coach who maybe won't frag as much or someone who's going to frag in the server? In my mind, you you would go with the uh, the guy who's fragging in this situation because then you're not taking away from Certus's responsibility as the coach, right? He's still available as a stick man yeah, to actually be point. chiming in. Uh, and maybe now you can free him up to kind of not Just necessarily micromanage Dima, yeah. but yeah, you know, babysit and make yeah. sure he's up to speed. That's a really good point. So yeah, I do think, especially considering now that coaches are obviously allowed to be a bit more free in communicating, uh, that, that's likely why we see teams move towards that, even with North picking up Chris Doe. So let's see this one. Team Spirit with the lead under their belt. Five to five to three in their favor. And another investment coming through for FaZe, but they're still running this risk of losing these rounds and getting put onto partial investment. Yeah. So if Team Spirit can keep them in this position, they are in a great spot to nail down this T side and get off to a good start. Yeah, worth noting something I mentioned earlier. Spirit are actually a very T-sided team. And even on maps like Nuke, uh, they, they get away with better t halves than CT halves more often than not. So, you know, this is uh, part of the course right now for Spirit. Don't be worried if you're a FaZe fan. Not yet, at least. Maybe later. We'll see if Spirit can keep this up. 5-3 and taking the ramp room after this smokes land outside. There's just one man lurking with them. It's Chopper. Bmas ahead of the Molotov. It's not going to be deep enough. He's still standing here. Artis Balance leaves the ramp though. And actually, oh, this is excellent. There's only one man on top side. It's only Coltira. Everyone's rotated out of heaven towards ramp off of that util. But Spirit has taken so long that FaZe have had time to rotate back into A. They've even dropped in from heaven two more players. That's a big pick. It's going to tempt them back in. But they're walking into a stacked setup. Artis Balance with a double opener. Brokey can't have a say in the round. He's got to run away and join his teammate in the lobby. BMAS pushing. But Brokey's already started to save. BMAS should do the same. This is a sixth for Spirit. Even though they draw FaZe away from the site and FaZe realize and get back into A in time, the kills just come through perfectly for Spirit. FaZe are desperate for information. They peek the heart. They try and get knowledge. And instead, they just get a bullet delivered by Idis Balance. He has looked very good in the you know 10 rounds, not even, of gameplay we've had here. Considering how much he struggled in the T side of Dust 2. And, you know, he was very quiet until the... the last six or seven rounds of dust two where he had a huge impact but obviously it didn't really matter because they lost the map well right well, now he's brought that impact and he's showing it to us on you we were talking about like this idea like the mental game for spirit and this rise that they're on and can they like roll with the punches and soak them up well i mean if they pick this up then that to me is a resounding yes yeah. because you imagine coming into this game that there's two ways it could it could have gone in the team speed you know either that they're all very deflated by the way this has gone down and everyone's a little bit bitter and so you struggle to get that momentum back. Or you have your key players who like are normally performing alongside Mir. And for that, I do look towards, you know, this kind of trio of Chopper, Magics, and Idis Balance. And they sit there and go, okay, it's our time to shine now. It's our time to step up. We've got to take this game into our hands and we've got to do right by Mir in his absence. And that's definitely what they're delivering right now over on this T side. Dima, the standard, nailing down a Ooh. kill in main, turning this into the advantage of Spirit. And now they sit in a four on three. I really didn't think this new game was going to deliver no. here, but it but it certainly has the rest of you deliver right now team spirit backing up out of the lobby setting up over here towards outside they've taken a four on three they know that phase are feeling the pressure and are going to be committing into this upper site and so they're going to use this freedom that they've been given to try and carve a pretty safe path into this round hot roof molly for chopper no one's on top of it though brokey is inside instead chopper goes back towards the lobby but so is rain he's pushed inside of the door chopper gonna run away and he avoids his death does he doesn't know it but rain's gonna hit everything now phase 
know it's B. B Mask is already here ahead of the curb, but can he put up a fight? He needs two kills at a bare minimum if FaZe even want to consider going for this round. So B Mask, moment of or oh, moment to shine here. The plant coming in. Spam is good. Oh, he does finish the job. Looks for a second as well and even bursts the body. Takes down Demon. The bomb dropped. The rotates are in. It's all on SDY and Chopper. Nice shot, but he gets traded from above. Rain is everywhere and not waiting around. Chopper in a one on two, but very doable. Low HP for FaZe. Yeah, time is his enemy right now. 15 seconds and he's looking for the kills, not the bomb plant. That bomb is in the middle of the site. He knows there's no chance of getting it down. So he's got to find the frags and they don't present themselves. Rain and Biomass, they hide. And Biomass with a stellar hold down at B to find the double. Regardless of uh, face winning that round, just to, just to jump on the point you were making there about uh, Team Spirit, you know, I think, you know, if they like, the fact they're getting these T-side rounds is is showing the value of, of, of team play and Counter-Strike and how the, yeah, okay, you know, you, it's it's not even just about having the best players or, or winning the or, or just winning fights. It's about outmaneuvering your opponent, and and that's what they did yesterday on Nuke against Fnatic, getting a 12-3 half and just destroying Fnatic on this map. So yeah, it was Spirit just uh, avoiding Fnatic and doing a really good job of countering what they were doing. JW's AWP never got off to a good start. Always shut down after just a single kill. And Fnatic, they were trying to play aggressive, trying to play the traditional style, but Spirit just really didn't let them get away with it. So, you know, that's why there is a world where they can still beat FaZe with a standard, because as a team, as a unit, Spirit have been so impressive in how they approach these rounds. But well, on the other side of things, there's Nico dropping a man in the yard. The flash is good, and Nico actually only gets legged off that shot. He can't escape, but he hangs around, and that will be his demise. Dropped by the AWP, SDY finds an entry to ramp, and that's Bemis gone, giving Spirit a route into that B bomb side. They don't even care about the outside control that's currently being held by Magix, because he can just come in on a late lurk. Cold, making sure Lobby isn't contained, and Idis Balance only a few feet away from death. Yeah, Magix is still outside. He's a long way away from this rotation down towards B. Now, this is kind of helped out by the fact that FaZe uh, are equal part far away. They've been dealing with these players that were lurking, and so Rain is the only man down at this bomb site. Ooh. Demon not able to hold his own at ramp, and that has given FaZe a way back in. Three on two, but time working against them. Magic surviving on his rotation in nice. secret, but it's a little too late. Rain's already slipped by and dealt with some die young. They close the door on Magic. There's almost a lineup, but the defuse held and around on the board for FaZe. They get this retake off, and they put a fifth up on the board. Yeah, and right there's a situation where, you know, Dima, he's holding the ramp. If he gets one kill, it's a viable round for Spirit. If he doesn't, that's exactly what happens. FaZe just steamroll. They, they're like a snowball going down a hill. They just build and build and build. And with every kill they get, they get more confident. They get closer. And then just three body blocking the bomb as Magix comes in for the swing. There's nothing he can do. Spirit still hold the lead, but that might come to a close here as FaZe are finding success on the CT side. Brokey's aggression is excellent as it takes down the T-sided AWP that's been responsible responsible for so many of these opening kills for Team Spirit. I just balance dead in the water and Spirit, they're going to have to abandon their game plan and look elsewhere in this round. Ooh. I don't think there's a door there, Harry. I think that's just smoke. I might be wrong. No, you're bang on, Hugo. Oh. And now there's bodies there as well. Some die young gets buried by raid. And this leaves Dima, Chopper, and Magix in this three on five. Still trickling through this door. And, well, raid. It's more of a downpour here at this A bomb site. He does put down a second. Magix coming in with the trade, but it's still a huge advantage for FaZe. It's going to be a tricky one for them to throw away. Magix. On this orb, trying to snipe another man from the tally. That smoke going into the door, that might just seal the fate of Team Spirit in this round. They send Chopper back towards outside. He's trying to gain a bit of a foothold, but 25 seconds left. Does have a free passage down through yeah. Secret, and Come maybe on. even a bomb plant at B, no. but it's pretty tenuous, because B-Mass has started to consider this as an option. He rotates down now. Magix is just trying to save the orb. Ooh. 
Oh. Chopper gets dropped, and so it is just the save. One of the things that's kind of cool about that, right, is if Chopper gets into B and he gets the bomb planted and then dies immediately, which is probably what you're expecting to happen if you're Spirit, um, Magix would have survived with the AWP and would have got loss bonus. So yeah. that's what they were kind of trying to gear towards, right? Taking the AWP out of the round while still making a lot of money. That was the aim of the game. Obviously, it doesn't go down that way. Chopper never survives the journey. But I feel like you never see teams set up for that. They always try and play for the plant if they get it. Yeah. And, I, you know, I think I think it's fair enough to say that was an unwinnable round, right? Like, Chopper, low... Uh, no, sorry, not low. It's Magix who was low and a long way away. He knew that he, knows that he had no chance there. Ooh. Man's a tag what? onto Nico and follows up the second time around. He gets some good usage out of that orb that he carries forward. And now puts it back into the hands of I Disbalance. So six to six, but a man advantage now for Team Spirit. They're looking to put themselves back in the lead. And again, Spirit have gotten down to B. If they have no information, you can see the way that Brokey's watching outside makes me think that, that Spirit have no, that FaZe have no clue that they've let a man down through secret. The perfect timing for Spirit. They love to do this. Chopper's in the vents. He can just hold rotation. Now, all, all Spirit needs to do, they, they want to bait a player into, into vents, into Chopper. Knowing that FaZe aren't going to be scared of rotating vents at the moment, Spirit are going to throw these outside smokes. This is a really good call because now FaZe are going to rotate thinking, ah, B, well, that sounds good. I can, I can get down to B. Let's go vents. Well, no, you can't. It's not that simple. Uh, luckily enough, it doesn't seem like anyone's tempted by FaZe anyway. Rain is going to let them pass, and here's all the footsteps. The grenade is good, and it slows him down, allowing him to spam. Now, what's the timing like? Yeah, he doesn't expect it. He, knew, he thought he had a gap. He thought he had a chance. Chopper's been there all round long. And now Spirit, they know they've got a top site hit. They know they've got a kill on A. Do they still want to commit towards B, where FaZe are throwing a heavy rotation? Oh dear, if they do make this decision to commit, they are walking into this stack, but maybe it's not a problem. If they just deal with everyone down on B, that works as well. Cold Zera now left to try and clutch this round out. He's delivered us a couple of nice rounds today. Let's see if Cold has it in him to work any magic here. Spots the first man, and Dima's actually going to best him immediately. So seven on the board for Spirit. I love everything about that round. Yeah, Spirit did the exact same round in the pistol round of the grand final of RTR CIS. They beat Windstrike with it. They threw two players down really, really fast by distracting on A by throwing utility through the door. That you know, uh, dedicated the outside player into helping assist Mini and gave a gap for Spirit to cross outside. This time, the same thing happens. No one's watching Yard, Chopper hits a timing, and they just play around the timing. They play around the fact that FaZe don't have that information, and it wins them the round. So really good call. Nico, he's got info this time, though. He hears the first steps outside. There's two players on either side of him. Oh, that's one turning around. Nico getting traded, and it's the quick orb shot from Idis Balance that does keep this round alive for Spirit. If that was a five on three with guns at the feet of FaZe, and outside cleared, this could have been an eco win. Now it's still up for question. Phase, do they have an answer? Cole's pushed close towards a lobby with an SMG. Other than that, it is just armorless pistols here in this round for Phase. Oh, cold. These lobby pushes have usually been great for FaZe as well, and time after time, oh. they serve to blindside Team Spirit. Now, they do run out of ammo, but Rain is still laid down the pain with the Deeg, and they get it done with just the pistols on the FaZe clan side. Stellar stuff from them to find this seventh. And if we think back to Dust, like, Rain was leading on the scoreboard, head and shoulders above anyone else. Well, he is reliving that here on Nuke secures an essential double kill in this round, not only to save Cold Zera's life and allow him to keep being a nuisance and squeaky, but then even follows up and makes that round phases. Now this time, Team Spirit, last round of the first half, they try and bed dive, they try and get down, and in a sense, they do get down, but not in the way they would have liked. They both fall, and the bomb is now lost on this upper site. So suddenly, Team Spirit, it wasn't the game plan to commit to A, but they've got to do it. They have to find these kills, and they do deal with the first man. And amongst all this madness, by the way, Chopper, sneaky little devil, has retrieved the bomb and dropped down the vent. Little detail to note that we never got to see play out in this round was Magix had an auto shotgun. Uh, this was something, oh, I'm trying to think, I swear Snacks used to do it all the time for VP, where you run out, you get down the vent, and then you turn around and you just hold it with the shotgun yeah. close range, right? You want them to chase you down, because uh, you are going to win that fight with the shotty. 
In this round, Team Spirit, they're wrapping into Hell, and they're looking to split into B. That's because Chopper is still waiting at Vents with this bomb. And this is the perfect call to make right about now. Yeah. BMAS is alone in this side of the map. He's holding behind Silo, which means Chopper is going to have to relocate if he wants to help his teammates out. But right now, his only job is to hold for these Vent rotations. And he might even keep that as his role if they're able to deal with BMAS. However, it's not looking great for that Ooh, right now. And so Chopper's given up his position. BMAS best side this balance. He's done a great job of holding down this B site. And there's the wow. killing blow. Mad, they might not have Mir, but the one thing they do have is team spirit. And boy, Dima coming in, filling this role, dealing with this, rolling with the punches. That's what Team Spirit are doing right now. And they've put up a good T side. 7-8 at the end of the first half. Now, FaZe have come in with a pretty swift response and were able to narrowly win out the half. Now we move into the second half of play. And this is where, you know, I think we either see FaZe leap ahead or we see just how resilient these Team Spirit boys are. But a fast A play and some die young, raining down death from atop the hut. This is so quick, so clean, and everything in between. Nico, the last map wow. remaining, and he gets put in the dirt shortly thereafter. Eight to eight, and Team Spirit with another pistol round going their way. You yeah, can't ask for more than that, right? Uh, Spirit locking in a flawless pistol. Faye's going to need uh, some incredible T-sided rounds here to, to take a victory here. Even with a standard for Spirit, they are a solid nuke unit. And while their T-sides are, are definitely, you know, the, the more impressive of the two, I mean, CT, that can be pretty standard. That can be pretty easy to hold, especially up against Glocks. Faye's have nothing in this round. Should be that 9-8 lead for Spirit. But I remember saying that in the first half, and I remember Spirit winning a Tech 9 round, so... Let's see. That being said, Glock's here for FaZe, really no skin in the game. And where's that bomb? It's on Rain. It's inside of the door. I guess he's going to try and find a... Oh, no, he's on top, sorry. It looked like he wanted to try and drop Vent, but uh, instead he's on Roof. So not really going to be doing all too much with that bomb. If he dies, it will get lost on the silo, which is really the only notable point of that position. And that's exactly where he's going as well, alongside Brokey. FaZe just really trying to bleed out this round time. They want to get rid of the utility here of Team Spirit. Brokey goes above, Rain does cross behind, and he'll join his team as they go from red to secret, trying to get down against these rifles. Spirit, they won't be able to stop anyone, actually. There's still a man trapped at red, but Magic is here to make money with the shotgun. They're closer than he thought, but he's going to get away with one. Trying to chuck in a, a bullet won't work out for him. It gives the gun over, and they can play that in the vent, Harry. You talk about shotguns in the vent. Well, Cold Zero is there to stay the bomb also staying outside. We're under full control of Team Spirit. Faze is going to have to go back to get it. Now, the auto shotgun is more gnarly at range than you might think. However, with no armor behind it, that's a nice, easy mop-up for I disbalance. He'll deal with both players. Nine on the board for Team Spirit. They get that round converted, but the easy streak is now over. The reinvestment coming through from FaZe, and it's going to have everything they could possibly need. AKs across the board, full utility. Looking to get back into the swing of things here in this second half. Close Smoke going to get dropped outside. Allows the cross of Cold Zera, should he want to, to get behind red and start to kind of duel with these outside players. Chopper is here. And in lieu of any teammates around to support him, he's very much alone. There's the refrag, at least from I Disbalance, who does get up into heaven at just the right time. While all this has gone on, Ram has fallen for the side of Team Spirit. And with FaZe so deep, and with so much time left, they don't even have to play off of this immediately. I, it looks like they want to leave Brokey here in this little goblin corner. And I love it when teams do this. Because now, right, if you're Team Spirit and you get curious and you try and look into ramp, you're not going to be ready for Brokey in this position. If you try and go on a flank, he'll be able to deal with you. He'll also hear these heaven rotates if you're loud about it. Oh. And yeah, look, these two players coming up ramp. Will they be ready for Brokey in this position? They spot him and they do deal with the man left on the lurk. So actually now phase going back into this a site rotations coming through nice and early for team spirit they've got the read they know what's going on in this round and they wow. get it under wraps nice and quickly 10 on the board for team spirit
as top, they reach double digits. On top of holding that position, the key for Brokey there is, is as Faye set up for the A play, he can come in on a rotation and flank heaven and backstab, right? That's a real problem for Spirit if Brokey hits a timing, but Spirit doing such a great job of clearing him out from B, walking up and two players clearing the ramp together as well. So, you know, trade potential there as well. Spirit play, very safe. And now up to 10. This is a little worrying. Phase, I honestly, like, at the end of the day, Phase do have a stand in himself, right? So you have to remember that. But I don't think Phase are going to feel, be feeling all too happy if they lose this series with a stand in for Spirit. Magic's with a shotgun, making Moolah. He is covered in cash and, well, eventually runs out of ammo. But luckily, it's not a lost round. It's just a lost fight. It's going to be Spirit up to 11. That AK saves the day. And I disbalance. He can drop it over. He can buy an AWP if he wants. They have money all over the spirit economy or bank account. And that's exactly what we'll go through. So Dima gets the AK and oh, this balance buys the AWP. We don't have one for FaZe Clan. Their, their money hasn't quite built up yet. They actually had enough for one, but they're going to opt against it. So I just balance going towards the outside area, looking to put a stop to things. But first taking a fight towards me. Actually Chopper playing in secret. And Dima is on the ramp, Harry, as we kind of hoped he would be coming into the second half. Very manageable position for him, and it also has, you know, rotations available if needed, be it from some die young in heaven or I disbalance on this orb. Faze with very little control anywhere on the map, and... Team Spirit as well, they've made a, uh, a decision here to move Chopper out of this secret area. He's gone all the way back on a very, very lengthy road. To, uh, actually, he's going back through B now, but I don't think he's going to go back to secret. Instead, just going to be posted up down in the site. There was a, a timing there where it looked like he was going to come back up to the towards this upper site. And that might have been the right read to make. FaZe setting up for this A play. They've got one man in the form of Nico down at this B bomb site. They now trying to wrap outside. Ooh, Taps big. away at I disbalance. And with this kill going their way, 30 seconds left. Where's this hoping to end up for phase? It's going to be this split. And Rain is not wasting any more time. He's sick and he's tired of waiting around. And finally, they deal with him. But this crossfire of Magix and Sumdai Young has dropped the bomb. Time is becoming a problem now for phase. It was looking good in the beginning of this. Magix is looking physically everywhere. And oh, flicks back up into heaven, but isn't able to connect the shot. Whoa. Chopper tries, but not quite. It's still a very, very close round. Very back and forth. Yeah. What sensitivity is Magic playing on as well? That's the question we're all dying to know. Look at these shots from Rayman. The speed, the pace, uh, the accuracy as well. That double heaven setup was a requirement. Magic, he could have really won that round on his own. Cold Zero, I think all the credit goes to him past Rain's death to stall out that fight for so long. He was being loud in upper. Magic knew he was there. That's why he was flicking. He just didn't know who was going to fight first. Like, is he going to get peak from sight? Is he going to get peak from upper? He needs to be ready for both positions. Cold stalls it out and peaks with his teammate getting that kill. Magic's the one man who could have really stopped that entire round in its tracks with 10 seconds left, is put to bed and phase. That's that first T-side round on the board, four in a row for Spirit before it is eventually broken. Spirit up 11-9. I thought Magic's after seeing that would have some freakishly high sensitivity. It's actually very run of the mill. Uh, yeah. 1.1, 800 DPI. I feel like pro sensitivities kind of average out at like 2.0 at like 400. Yeah. So yeah, just pretty standard. He's just got very, very fast wrist. Speaking of fast, speaking of pace, let's see. Phase, Ooh. very quick play into Ramp. Demon's here. He's dropped this smoke for the fallback. Ramp room's lost, but some die young trying to come in to mop up the damage. They are a little bit deeper than Demo is ready for. And so Rain's going to solidify that trade, but it's still the man advantage lying with Spirit in this lower retake. Four on three. We're yet to see two players complete their rotation. The bomb is here for FaZe and is now planted. So they're going to start to arrive down through the vents in secret. 
Yeah, it's crucial how fast FaZe took B and planted after they killed Dima there. So many teams hang around for too long. FaZe couldn't afford to do that, or Spirit would have had rotations. They run into the site and plant, and things are getting a little bit messy here. The shotgun's chugging away and takes Rain down low. He's finished off by Chopper. Just cold now, and a clutch that is doable. He's down to 10, though. Flashed out wide with a peek. He's up for the fight, and so is Sundar Young. He'll beat him to the punch. Defuse is there for Magix with the kit, and he can upgrade his weapon as well. It's going to be Spirit up to 12 here on the CT side. Despite the fast play from FaZe, despite catching Dima falling off of the railing, he still gets out with one. Yeah, okay, he pulls a flashbang, and, and you know definitely could have gotten two if he kept his gun out, but the fact that he gets one, he stalls that push, he kills Brokey through a smoke, Spirit have those, those rotations, and a man, a man up in order to retake. And so Team Spirit, they're keeping this lead up. They are looking good onto this CT side. Kind of and crazy. Chopper now going aggressive outside. He's feeling it. He's looking to take a kill away. The opening segments of this round. Now, the guy you're fighting here is someone going by the name of Nico. You might have heard of him. He is Hunter's cousin. Um, oh, that guy. This isn't really where you want to find yourself if you're Chopper. So he decides to back away. I feel like Nico is such a master of this red position that, I, you know, I. I don't fancy anyone fighting him here. He's a master of most positions, Harry. Yeah, that's kind of the problem with a guy like Nico, isn't it? He's just objectively not bad at anything ever. Yeah, except losing. But right now, what FaZe are doing a pretty good job of that. Looking to get back in control of this game. Spirit reset FaZe after one rifle round win on this T side. So FaZe, if they lose this round, not only up against 13, but broken economically again. And well, that might just be the game at that point. Faze need this rifle round. Desperate. Crossing outside with two behind the red side. They're going to get their way towards secret if they do so. Please, Sunday Young smoked. Dima's on the ramp again. Oh, he's making a lot of noise. Again, a missed rotation from Dima. It just feels all too common as Spirit going to have to throw in a rotation. Luckily, Idis Balance once again gets that pick from CT as the rest of Phase drop towards B. They kill Dima in the process. There's a fast flank from Spirit, but because of the secret, secret control taken by Nico and Co. from Phase, B is completely locked down. There's nothing Spirit can do about it. They have to play retake, and right now, are they even considering it? They're taking an ample amount of time to group up in this 4-on-4, four four, and they're scared out of it i'm i'm actually shocked by that i think it's a very winnable round and i think that given the money of phase and the fact that spirit won last round off of a reset that should be enough incentive to go in but they're thinking about their economy too harry and knowing that okay we want full rifles and we'll be broken we'll let phase back in if we lose this one so you know obviously there is good reason for saving it's a risk reward you know factor here for team spirit but i think that was definitely doable yeah, I mean, the, the way that I look at that, right, is, is is the problem isn't just the planning for the future, like you say, on behalf of Team Spirit, right, is one of the reasons why. I think it's just the sheer amount of control that FaZe has, yeah. right? If you are Spirit there, you're all grouping up and you're all coming from ramp. That's a very, I don't want to say like a very easy scenario for FaZe to win out, but it's one way, you it's, know, it's with utility ridiculous. in the right place and the fact that they, they'll have four guns trained on that position, knowing that they've locked down the rest of the map. I think it's just playing the percentages there for Team yeah. Spirit. And so now I just balance with this orb. He doesn't want to play percentages anymore. He, in fact, he's throwing them all out the window. Don't tell him the odds because he's looking to get this shot off first. And there's Nico denied outside. Ooh. I just balance. There could have been a second ready to go there. Just on scoping at the wrong time. This fire now burning wow. him out into the open. He hits the oh. dirty ball and I just balance lighting them up outside. Deary me. FaZe Clan has sent packing. By this orb, I disbalance still hunting for more. He's not content with 31 kills. This man is looking to get Team Spirit over the line with a stand-in. Oh. And here he is, by the way, the stand-in in all his glory. Dima shutting down Brokey at ramp, leaving it on Bimas in the 1v4. Not able to connect these shots. 13 on the board for Team Spirit. Money in a bit of an awkward spot for FaZe. They can still invest. Nico can drop an AK over, but it's certainly not ideal. They're going to be lacking this AWP if that's the call that's made. And I tell you what, we were saying we needed heroes to step up in Mir's absence. I Disbalance has taken this as a personal thing. 31 and 12. This is an unreal game from him. This is like, I don't want to say vintage I Disbalance, because no, in a way it's like, yeah, who are you to <laughs> say that he's vintage? But oh, like, yeah, vintage. Yeah. These, these are the games that you sometimes get out of this guy where he does just explode and you can't help but feel his presence in the yeah. server because he is everywhere.
Rain has more headshot kills than Nico has kills in this map. That does not bode well for the FaZe Clan right now. That save from Spirit Harry, the four on four, it is worth its weight in gold. Because while FaZe buy right back in, Spirit will defeat them with the AWP and put themselves on 13. Nice to see Dima get a double kill at ramp as well, right? Both times that FaZe have pushed ramp, he's been timed on his rotation or core out of position. Well, this time he gets a double, and that's always nice to see as well. Holding his position, holding his role. And Dima, remember, he's not here to drop 25 kills. He's not here to push lobby and kill FaZe. He's here to simply hold his position, stay alive, and provide info for his team. That's why he's here, and he's doing a great job of that as well. He's going to get tested again. FaZe coming back to the ramp room. Dima has an AK, a good grenade onto BMAS, but Nico is looking for headshots. That stat upset him. He's not happy with it. Dima's going to have to drop B, uh, but that's no problem. Idis Balance has always been good for one in the hell position. This time he doesn't go for it. He realizes his face could be close, and they'll just concede the spot and play a five on five. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> those smokes fade and cold's like, well, I really didn't want to have to run, but I guess I got to run. And if you got places to go, Chopper's going to follow you there. He does deal with Cold Zeret down in secret. Man advantage now taken up against this partial buy. Hero AK was entrusted into Nico's hands by Nico. So let's see if he can deliver. Does get shut down actually immediately. And it's only rain left. 1v5. Not going to happen in this round. I disbalance. 33 kills to his name now. Nico, go kill. Nico, no. Yeah, sometimes it just be that way. 14 to 10. Wow. And I tell you what, man, I was really looking in like the doom and gloom of this. Because yeah. to begin with as well, it looked like the coach was going to have to stand in for spirit. But Dima showing up with, with minutes of notice. He's here. He's in the server. He's outputting damage. The right players showing up. I disbalance really doing the heavy lifting right now for Team Spirit. Uh, and what a feat it is. I'm sure Mia, if he's able to watch this right now, even with the power outages, he's smiling away as he's watching his team with pride. Nico does elude Chopper outside. And this is what Ooh. I mean. Nico, he knows his stuff at this yeah. red box because normally he's the CT on the other side being a little uh, being a little nuisance in the front line. So worth noting, FaZe have one flash assist kill in this entire map right now. So the utility certainly a miss. On a map like Nuke, though, I feel like the flash is a little less so. Probably your fights are coming down to these, cl these close choke points, these tight corridors and hallways in that lower site, or just coming through the choke point that is the A site. BMAS looking for a pick, he's got it. Two kills the way of phase, it's a must win round for them to stay alive in this series. Nico is doing everything in his power to make that happen. Idis Balance drops him after a second. Magix needs to win this fight, or this round is done, because FaZe are already sending that bomb down towards B. There's nothing Magix can do about it. BMAS smoking himself off, and he says bye as he just retreats into the lobby. Spirit, they are likely going to save. As While they have money, they don't have really any chance of winning this two on four. And so it makes more sense to, you know, stock up your acorns for winter, bury them in the ground. But, oh dear, Magic's big kill there. BMAS had the drop on him, but fast fingers from the young gun on Magic's. The, the clash of the 16-year-olds right there, Harry. And Magix will come out on top, putting FaZe regardless up to 11 here as Team Spirit save this round. Rain, hoping it's not all in vain. The performance that he's had in this, uh, this uh, server series, all of it has been great, especially here and now. 20 kills, 4-1 in opening duels, 6 multi-kills, a clutch to his name. One of the two clutches in the game, the other by Chopper. So... I mean, it certainly has been performing today. And Nico, I mean, we're seeing him warm up, right? We're seeing him hit some shots recently uh, outside with this AK. So maybe that could bode well for FaZe in these final few rounds of regulation. Spirit just need two to push us over the line. Yeah, if you're FaZe, you can't take your foot off the gas. You need to keep this output rolling long into the future here to get back into this game. At least started on the right path. Rain fast in towards this upper site, and it's a fast A play. This time, no multi kills oh, found. Beamast with a stellar 3k transfer. Is this going to be enough to buy the round? Because he does fall on the back of it. Two on three. Chopper and Dima left on the other side, and Dima is isolated up in heaven. He gets dealt with. Chopper now all alone. 1v3. They just saw him in main. He's rerouted over here to hell. And it looks like he might be saving in this one. Money is a bit of a problem, but if they hold on to this AK, they've dealt with that 
reasonably well. Bimas has had some incredible transfers, not just today, but yesterday as well. He had a sick one coming into that B-bomb site on Dust 2 uh, in, in the matchup match yeah, phase played yesterday. I think, the, godsend. I think the best transfer for him ever was when he joined phase. It was probably like <laughs> one of the golden uh, ones. Yeah, that's pretty good. He even had another one of those actually yesterday on Nuke as well. Um, ran out hut, killed, I don't know what order it was, but I think he killed main and they transferred to top hut, something like that. So yeah, he's had a lot of transfers. A lot of very good spray control on this guy. And he's showing up now for phase when they need him most. The stars are lining, the rounds getting put on the board. This may have looked like a lock in for spirit, but don't sleep on phase plan. This young upcoming international team, Harry, they're here to stay. <laughs> Man, this is so wild that this is so back and forth to begin with, though. And something that I will say, right, when you compare the two orphans right now on a head-to-head -head basis, 34 kills for Idis Balance, 8 for Brokey. I think that speaks volumes, right? Idis Balance is getting the better, not just of his orphan oh, counterpart dear. on the other side, but most players for phase. Not in this round, though, Hugo. Nico has dealt with him outside, and that is a huge blow to deal to Team yeah. Spirit. This is going to feel heartbreaking if two times in a row they reach 14 and struggle getting it over the line, even more so on this third map with the addition of a stand. But even then, right, think back to Dust2 and the fashion in which that slipped away. Yeah, watch Dima's power go out now. Watch it get worse, Harry. There's always, it could always get worse. Well, let's see. Magix is going to try and really oh, worsen no. the day. He almost catches the timing there, but instead, as they push lobby, they are greeted with the AWP of Brokey. And the AK of Cold Zera, they lose both players to that lobby push. Some die young and Dima, two on five. It's very unlikely that they salvage this round, but they're going to give it their best attempt. Okay. And with that kill, the bomb was dropped. Huge. Dima now holding the lobby. Some die young re-aggressing, and that's one step too far. Phase, they just sit and they wait, and the kills come to them. And I feel like some of the credit we give Spirit uh, as a team is they 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 don't over push on the CT side. We did we don't really see that from these guys. They don't feed kills, but right now a lot of what they're doing is just feeding Phase these advantages, these frags. Dima has the bomb in the lobby. He pushes. And, and FaZe is just waiting for him, of course. Like, you know, things like this. Uh, I think Spirit are feeling the pressure right now, and it, it's it's making them play aggressive because they know what's on the line. This entire map could fall apart here in the remaining few rounds as FaZe look to pick up the pace. Again, going fast outside behind the red box. One crossing secret. I just balanced it to tag, but that tag cost him his life. Cold Zero peeks out the back, saves Nico, finishes the job. Nico is on 30, but that's of no worry to phase in a round where Team Spirit only have pistols and no armor. They've lost their one gun. I like the double setup down secret, but I just don't think FaZe are going to walk into it. Look at this it's setup outside. Actually, it's actually a triple setup, Hugo, because oh. of the two dual ah, berettas. Of course, in place. Yeah. So that counts. You know, Magix is firing two guns. It's like two. But you people. can only shoot one at once. It's not like you can press left and right click and shoot both bullets. That's how you buff the dual berettas. You make it like COD, Harry. You you you, you give each each actually, uh, gun. That a would actually be really firearm. cool. Yeah. Um, I've always wanted that. Let's do that. Good stack for Spirit, right? They've read this. Phase are going heaven. They're holding lobby. They're going to wrap A. That's where this, this is going. But you can notice the bomb is in outside. So if this goes bad, if Phase walk into a stack, which they are, they can just bail and go B with a bomb. So that's going to be the cool here. So oh. gets a gun. He doubles oh. down. Phase, they're going to abandon this. They have nothing to do with that A site. They've seen a stack. They've seen one. And they actually don't know where these three other players are. But they're going to gamble anyway. Dropping drip B, getting oh, lower. Nico climbing goodness. up is dropped as well. Bmas holding onto the lobby with one. But there's two more in main. But him to deal with. He's looking the wrong way. The transfer from BMAS again and again. His spray control saves Faze oh, no. and he's forced the save of Spirit. Sundar Young gets out of the round and he doesn't even give it a go. That is a heartbreak hotel for Spirit. They're checking in right now and maybe checking out of this series because Faze up yeah. to 14 he with all the money. That I, I think he thinks it's A with the kills coming in. No, that's why he ran away. He didn't realize that the, the, the Brokey was alone no. planting oh at B. Oh my. Yeah, that's no. heartbreaking. Some die young. He saw them go B. They, got, they He killed Nico on the B bomb site. Yeah, but up. he never saw Brokey. And with BMAS dealing with the two players on A, as they'd given up the site, yeah. he assumed that's where the plant was going and down. I guess on top of all of that, the first two kills Some die young gets are, are on phase coming through heaven on an A split. They were hitting that A site. FaZe were going to bring the bomb if it went well. And after it didn't go well, they just dropped B. And Sunday Young didn't realize. That's just, uh, 
Oh, that's, it, it doesn't get much worse than that, Harry. It really doesn't. This has been a series of unfortunate events for Spirit. And regardless of how these next two rounds or the overtime goes here, I think people have to give a huge yeah. amount of credit for Spirit for persevering, for putting up a fight, for taking it all three with a stand-in as well. Even if FaZe win this series, Spirit are I, not to be messed with. Yeah, I, re I really do think that for a lot of people, right, who maybe didn't catch Team Spirit's stellar run through the road to Rio in the CIS division, right? Like, if you didn't catch that, or maybe you didn't give it its proper dues, and, you know, you're, you're looking at them coming into this, and you're thinking, like, who are Team Spirit? Well, I think on the back of today, on the back of this performance, they've certainly... Uh, one over the hearts of the people at home, right? For persevering through this. Even yeah. if you are a FaZe fan, you got to give Team Spirit the respect that they've taken it this far and this long. And it's still at a point where realistically they could close yeah, this doable, game out. You doable. know, it's not written off. This is 14-14. FaZe have had to grind their way back into this. Where's that orb gone? I just balance. He has been picked up by Nico in the yard fast, and that's exactly how this one goes for Rain. Not to the best of his uh, his display. Chopper drops him. Oh, and he pulls out a grenade as he gets peeked by Cold Zero. Faze with an important refrag. They now just stop. They pull the brakes. They don't commit to that A site. Bomb's going to go towards ramp, but there's no one here right now. Dima did begin a rotation. He'll hang around. He'll actually stick here as he waits to see a phase of uh, splitting him. And with outside gone, with Cold Zero in the yard, even though he hasn't moved after getting that kill, he could be coming on a hell wrap. So Idis Balance has to be aware of that, and he will spot him as well. Big kill coming through. Now the bomb doesn't want to go A. Now it has to go ramp because they've lost their split player on the site. Into Dima they go, but oh, oh look, Idis Balance is here as well. Yeah, now, Brokey is going to keep his eye on ramp. Oh, actually moving off, and Dima's allowed to swing out on the back of it. Only good for one. Uh -oh. Brokey holding for that peak has bought it into a two-on-two. I just balance, looking for a trade. Has given up even odds to phase. It's Brokey and Nico left in this one to try and get match and series point. Nico besting magic, and now some die young. He was a hero almost in the round prior. Now he's got to become the full-fledged man for Team Spirit. Looking to hunt down Nico. That nade doesn't do the damage he was hoping for. Brokey backed off into Decon. They've got a crossfire on this bomb. Sundai Young dropping a smoke, goes Ooh. back to find Nico, and now just Brokey with this AWP. Time is going to be the problem for Sundai Young. He's got to be quick on this approach. He has to get the info as to where Brokey hides. And with Decon door open, he might start to suspect Sundai Young around the corner. Sees oh, the leg no. through the bottom of the door, lands the spray. Has now on the bomb, Brokey has to get him off because Sundai Young's sticking oh. it, and he does. Match and series point for FaZe. Wow. The best possible attempt from Sundai Young, but it's not enough to get that 15th round on the board. And FaZe now five kills away from locking in this series. Team Spirit, one last hurrah to try and take us to overtime. I want OT. I want this to keep on going. Yeah. Let's see if we can get it. Team Spirit, auto shotgun on Magix, orb for eye disbalance, his weapon of choice in hand. If there ever was a time for him to show up in the capacity he has all series long, it is now. This has been excellent for FaZe. The fact that they, they go down so far. A start, you know, an eight, seven, half in their favor, but Spirit storm into the CT side with four in a row. They took a commanding lead in this game, and FaZe have had answers to every problem posed. These B hits have been excellent. The outside control has been flawless. FaZe wrapping Spirit round after round in the enemy's backline. Right now, they slow it down. They take a breather because 15 14. Nico even getting given the orb. It's down to 45. That's why, but. Is that the right call? We'll have to wait and see. Spirit, no utility really in this round. They're relying on the gunfights and they will f uh, go their way first. Sunday Young dropping b -mass in the lobby. That's been a kill that b -mass has been on top of more often than not. Spirit are dropping B off the back of these smokes. They have no info. Phase have silently crept behind them. And it's a double setup towards Secret. This is a great bait and switch for Spirit. Phase not, might not be ready for a two-pronged attack. Come on, Magic's auto shotgun and a dream. And if there ever was a more perfect story to serenade us with, it's the sound of this. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Another one. Magic. Oh, he lines up two. And it's all left onto Cold Zera to try and deny an overtime in a 1v3. Down into the B site. He goes, but oh, I this balance dear. holds the line. We're going to overtime. You heard that right. Team Spirit with a stand in. They've kept up the pressure. They've kept up the heat. I this balance. 37 kills to his name. 
This is 14-10. FaZe pulled five rounds in a row to get 15, Harry, just to get the match and series point, only to lose it to a shotgun in the lower bomb site. Five in a row for FaZe. And we restart the clock again as we head into overtime. 16K MR3, three rounds a half with all the money that you can ask for. No saving today. Hopefully Spirit know what bomb sites they're heading to because right now FaZe are coming back in on this T side hot to trot. May have been one lost round, but it's not the end of the world for FaZe. They got us here in the first place. They're going to be able to take us over the line. We'll see if Spirit will allow it. My disbalance. Unbelievable performance from him right now. 37 kills. TS issues here. Harry going into this OT, which is a bit of a classic. That's fine, man. It gives us a little bit of time to, to, to calm down and reflect on what we've seen in this series. For anyone who is just tuning in, uh, you have missed a great series full of some really high highs and some really low lows. Dust 2 was by far the, the kind of beginning of all of that, right? Team Spirit, they picked up train, dominantly so. On Dust, they were in the lead. They were 14-9 up. It gets pulled all the way back to 14 14-14, and then in a 1v2 with 100 points of health, Mir DCs because all the power goes out in his house, and Mir was not able to get back into the server. So what did they do? They bring the coach in on that map. It didn't fall in favor of Team Spirit, despite getting it into an overtime affair. And now for Nuke, in a matter of minutes, they had to get someone on the line. They bring in Dima, a year on from his last tenure in this Team Spirit squad, a year on from the last time him and Sum Die Young we're here, living out the glory days. He's answered the call, and we needed to have this core of Team Spirit stepping up. Well, boy, have they delivered. I Disbalance and Sum Die Young, I think, are the two biggest talking points there. Sum Die Young has delivered so many key rounds for Team Spirit. Yeah. And I Disbalance, 37 kills, that just speaks volumes in <laughs> and of itself. Yeah, man. And you've got to wonder, Harry, what would what would this game be like if we had Mir right now? Would it even still be going? Possibly not. It could have just been a done deal. I would have had my money on Spirit already having closed this series, considering Dima is, you know, not only 11 and, and you know, 20 or something. Of the, yeah, 11 and 20. But, you know, obviously without arguably the, one of the best, if not the best players uh, player in this team, which is Mir. So, yeah, that's a big hole for Team to fill. And the fact that they brought this to overtime is impressive enough. Yeah, coming out of Dust 2, I, I put a tweet out saying that like the excitement from this series was probably gone. Like at the time, it looked like Team Spirit were going to be playing with their coach still. Get they wrecked. sorted out Dima in a, it, it's so quickly. Like really, props to him for just agreeing to... To, in, a, in a matter of minutes, just go, yeah, watching. I'll, I'll play Counter-Strike today. Like, just texting some die young. Yo, man, I noticed uh, Mia's having some problems. Like, I'll come in. I'll help out. So, yeah, big, big ups to a man like Dima. Yeah, pretty sick. Oh, this is this is such a, a fun back and forth series. And, you know, for FaZe, right, let's start to take a look at these guys. I mean, back on Dust 2, they had to launch quite the comeback to even win that out. You know, that's a fair bit of merit to them to take it to this third map. And what I didn't want to happen was for FaZe to just blow Spirit out the water here. At the same time, I think for a lot of people, they're expecting FaZe to get the win because you are up against the team now with a standard. So... It went from feeling like there wasn't a lot riding on this game as a result of the circumstances we found ourselves in to, to now it just being this this brawl, this bloodbath. And I have loved every minute of it. I disbalance went 37 to 16 six months ago against VP in regulation. Wow. Well, he's mimicking kind of that performance Crazy. again yeah. now. Wow. Like, if this is something he can routinely do, which we, we kind of know, like with I disbalance, it feels like he'll either be in the server and... I, I don't know. He, he, 11 kills or 1,100 kills, <laughs> That's pretty much how this balance. Yeah, and I don't know, man. I, I've loved watching him develop. And it does feel like that's the story for this whole Team Spirit squad. Like, you know, you, you've got you've got like your classic guys in here. You've got some that like young, you got me, you got Choppy. You know what these guys are bringing to the table. But for Magix and I disbalance, watching these two players grow within this squad has just been fantastic. Yeah, and, and for those who are enjoying the DreamHack Masters Spring 2020, remember, this is only our first series of the day. That's the crazy part. Maybe late in the evening, we've had technical issues throughout the day, or, or at least power issues for some of the players. And so that's put us a little bit behind schedule, but for good reason. 
at least we're getting quite a battle here. Of course, our next game inside of this group is going to be Fnatic taking on Godsend. Now, that's definitely a game you want to catch if you uh, if you didn't know. Fnatic got 2 0 by Spirit yesterday, and they got wrecked on Nuke as well, 16-3. to So Fnatic have a lot to prove coming into day two of this group and show that they aren't exactly sleeping at the wheel. Of course, for Godsend, recent roster changes there as well. Farley from Copenhagen Flames has just joined that team, replacing Michael Lele. He's looking very good individually with the pistols and with the AWP. So definitely want to check out that match later on. And of course, uh, a third and final one in the NA region of 100 Thieves and Genji finishing off tonight. All of those uh, other two games will be brought to you by Connor and Launders. So quite the duo. The Canadian brothers back again. But right now, we're just waiting to get back into this overtime between FaZe and Team Spirit in the third and final map. And Harry, another important point is, is realistically, given how things are going, if Spirit win this game, they're likely topping the group by the looks of things. Almost no way that that can't happen unless Godsend go flawless. And so that would be a huge move up for Spirit into the playoffs, guaranteeing a deep run here at DreamHack Masters. And considering they came into this event as pretty much the bottom seeded team, this is quite the story for Team Spirit. And here we go, back into the action. Thanks for sticking with us, everyone. We appreciate your patience. FaZe and Spirit, the best of three, coming to an end here and now in OT. Let's get it. It's going to be phased over on this T side still. Got that momentum leading in their favor. They've just played 15 rounds of this. They're ready. They're raring to go. And they explode into the A bomb site. But it's more like an implosion. One by one, they've been bested. Nico, however, trying to turn the tide of battle. I disbalance has taken one through that smoke. I don't really know how, but it's Brokey getting bested. Dima as well is wrapped around from ramp. Now, FaZe, I think they're going to drop Ben. That looks to be the game plan. Maybe not. There's been a temporary break in the action, and they might take this as an opportunity to try and get this bomb down. Ooh, Cold gets the information that there's players outside. It's this hot player in Dima that could do it all. Cold's just burned to death. I, the, 100 to zero. The Molly wasn't even like he entirely out, near him. Yeah, oh, he moved dear. out. We switched off. We went to the Dima, to, 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 to Dima and Cold just burns. What? I don't even know how that happened. I hope we have a replay of that because Cold, he stepped out of the Molotov and he goes 100 to zero. Clearly wanted to take a fight back in it, maybe. Let's see. Oh, so he just doesn't think it's affecting him. What? I, don't, I really don't know, mate. Cold, your guess is as good as mine, brother. That is a mess, but it's one that Spirit would love. Also worth noting, Nico, he sprays heaven. He kills two players. He also put Idis Balance down to 10 health. If he kept spraying, he would have killed Idis Balance, but he stopped because why would there be a third player in the same smoke? At least that's a question he's asking, but he'll never know. Idis Balance lives to fight another day and keeps up this powerful KD for Team Spirit as they take the first of OT. It is just wild as well, like, because when you think about Idis Balance, like, we've seen him have high fragging games before, but this isn't, you know, like, Idis Balance wrecking VP or, like, demolishing, uh, yeah, you know, like a Sparta or something like that, right? This is FaZe Clan. This is Cold Zera, Rain, Nico, Brokey, and um, BMAS, two players that are making waves right now. This is a huge feat from him as an individual. Yeah. Idis Balance has been key to this new game. And right now, the reason I'm talking about him so damn much isn't just because I love this man. It's also because Idis Balance finds himself down in secret right now with this AWP. And there are players outside that he might get to use it on. FaZe hey. once again setting up for this A play. Magic's playing close to the hut, turns away from a flash that never comes, but Chopper will double up, and they don't account for some die young. Still here, he drops Ooh. into the fray, and that puts him in front of Nico. On Plant gonna come on through here for FaZe. I disbalance in main. Flashes for a teammate for the Heaven Peak, but that just signals it to Nico yeah. that it's coming through. I disbalance now left in this 1v2. He would need to reach 40 kills to win this round out. That's such an unfortunate flash. It just gives away the info to Nico. Like you said, no one was watching Heaven for FaZe and they're watching main. Of course they are. It's exactly where I disbalance sits. Uh, not for long. Now he'll just take a long lie down in the A site. For eternity phase up to 16 they bounce back with a round of their own that looked like a, a stellar hold from chopper getting a double someday young up on the rafters and he drops off because of the volatiles because of the t's pushing in right into that palm of nico crushes him under his fingers phase 
an important round picked up to keep them level-headed with Team Spirit. This orb again moving this time. Oh, it's a fake one. They throw an, uh, a Molotov next to Ramp that, at least for FaZe, might hear the sound and think that, you know, Ramp is Molly, like like his tradition. That's a, a common thing CCTs do, like throw a Molotov towards Car on Dust 2, and, uh, and, and T's look away from the tunnels to keep tunnels as Mor Molly, rather. 16 16 and a man down with eye disbalance dead in the water phase are going to move outside behind the seat uh, behind the red box rather oh, dima back in ct tapped out by nico who has come alive in OT. Yeah. He went from, you know, kind of struggling to get rolling to now just rolling. <laughs> and it's kind of simple as that. Nico, I'm not going to continue this pair, but is he going to check the close right Ooh. angle? He Ooh. doesn't. So oh. our young play in the trigger discipline, but no more players come down towards secret. It's not great in terms of, you know, making a play to win you the round, but it has got the information that this is not looking like a B play. However, Chopper swinging for the info outside. That's the decision he comes to regret. Magic's now not able to hold down the A bomb site. Some die young left in this 1v3 and it's a good thing he hasn't decided to rotate heaven in this round because Rain has snuck there, threw outside, sits up in the heavens, and with the bomb planted for him. This is a damn near impossible round for Sun Dai Young. Ooh, the Warbang though takes Bemus out as the door gets a hole blown in it. Bemus will too. It's a flash out for Sun Dai Young. He's going to try and commit. It's all he can do in this round. A Molotov and a kit. Burn out any position he pleases, but that's not going to have any value, and the time is already ticking down. He needs to get on that bomb. He needs to get into the site. This crossfire is here. Cold is close. And Sunday Young doesn't check it. Cold, quick flick, finds the kill. Three in the round and 17 for FaZe Clan. They are looking damn good, and they might have just stopped Spirit in their tracks right when Spirit come alive. And just offer these top site crushes as well for FaZe, right? That's something they, they did a couple of times in regulation, but we didn't really see that all too much. Spirit were able to uh, keep a hand over it. And FaZe, two of the three of their rounds are just hitting A. So they take the lead. And now Spirit switch over to the T side where they got seven rounds in regulation all that time ago. Outside smoke's going to get thrown on in. And we know that Team Spirit like to play around with this outside control. This time, though, Nico here. And if you remember in that first half, never really felt like much of a threat. Well, he's come alive in OT and he shuts down Chopper. I disbalance had a chance to get that trade there and then. And actually, he will. He <laughs> actually just wipes him off the tally with a nice little flick onto Nico. It looked like he'd, he'd really missed the boat on that one. But Nico going back for the fight. Given this four on four over and team spirit, they just pump the brakes. They wait now. We saw that whenever FaZe did this against Spirit, it worked pretty well. However, FaZe, I don't think are going to make the same mistakes of over-aggressing in this round. They instead are just going to sit pretty, hold these lines. They know that at the end of the day, Team Spirit have got to come to them. Beamass getting pressured at ramp makes the decision to give it up immediately. He falls down into this B site and he does have Brokey here as well. But this isn't the B play from Team Spirit. Don't be fooled. Bays aren't. Bays aren't fooled at all. Brokey just came up the ladder to throw smoke in the door. Even though they pushed Beamass down, I mean, that's obvious to FaZe. They haven't fallen for this at all. And Spirit, 20 seconds, are about to hit this top site into Brokey, who's ready to fly up the vents. Oh dear, he's actually close towards the door already. If he pushes here, he is dead in the water, but flash out, he can find the timing, he's forced to peak. He's got away with two. Brokey shutting this round down, and the Orb no scope will do everything they need and more. FaZe deny Spirit the A bomb site, that fake. Oh, Spirit thought it was a fake. FaZe, they knew it was a fake, and they will be ready for the commitment. Match point for FaZe, one away from taking Nuke and taking the series here in DreamHack Master Spring 2020 over Spirit. Dima has been very quiet in OT. One kill to his name. Spirit would love to take this to another. They're going to need two in a row to push it forward. Yeah, that's the thing though. FaZe, they're not, they're not forgiving when they have this map series point in the, uh, in the crosshair. They're not going to give you a way back in. If there's one thing FaZe excel at, it is just playing the percentages and playing smart Counter-Strike. 
you add on to that the fact that now the individuals are coming alive and it's a scary spot to be in. Oh dear. Oh, they almost catch the timing on to be mass there. Brokey's coming on rotation and he smites Dima down. This might be the end for Team Spirit at the beginning for FaZe as they look to take the 2-1 victory in this series. Some die young. He's someone who's delivered so many almost clutches and turned so many rounds into doable situations for Spirit. He's put them in a three on four, wasn't able to pressure Brokey anymore down in hell. But he has gained ramp control for the Spirit crew. Yeah, it looked like they wanted to back up into A there. Spirit made the right call to not do that because FaZe are stacked on the top bomb site as they often are. Spirit are going to go down lower into rain. He's waiting in the secret. Got it both from that contact room and SDY going to drop him nice and quickly. Team Spirit with a chance now. No smoke uh, for the double door. One for the single though. And Molotov's deep in secret. FaZe clearing out the lobby, making sure there are no lurkers here for Spirit. They don't know the fact that all three players are here, but now it seems to be somewhat clear. FaZe coming from a ramp as a unit. No one in the vents here. And moving as a pack. Spirit waiting. SDY on the site. Everyone else in the secret. Yeah, Sam Dayan going to be this first point of contact. Oh, and oh the excellent. nade gets rid of him. Chopper and Magics, they're Tick grouped lock. up together. Time has ticked away from this bomb and they're playing to deny this defuse. The perfect way to deal with it. And they get Brokey off. There's not Run. enough time for Brokey to get this defuse. And while he does get all the kills needed, the round goes in favor of Spirit. So now, now we sit at round 36 in this best of three. <laughs> Third map. Uh, not 36 rounds of the best three, rather. 36 yeah. rounds in this third map of play, and there's a chance for even more if Team Spirit can put up this round here and now. Yeah, on that B side, I would have loved Rain to just stick the bomb and Brokey cover him, right? Rain fakes it out with like eight seconds left, and there's no way for him to win the round unless he physically sticks it. Obviously, he gets a kill because someone peeks the bomb off for three seconds, but you just got to hope that Brokey covers you there. Otherwise, there's no way you win the round. They make it expensive, but that's not a factor when you're an OT, and nico has been ridded of his life immediately into this one. Magic's going above the silo and killing Nico crossing red. He's trying to get towards secret. Nico has been very mobile outside and Spirit know about it, so they will shut it down. And that has really set things up for a double OT here, Harry. A mad advantage. They've just got to put the icing on the cake, tie the knot here. Base clan with four up. They're going to move this all back into heaven to try and defend the top site, but also assist outside where those smokes are landing. Brokey can view above them if he wants to take the risk, but he's going to flash his teammates through. Cold Zero going for a hero play. Oh, he mows down one. Reigns come out as well through the garage with a double. Somehow, some way, FaZe have turned this round on his head, but look at SDY. He's taken the A site. Yes, yeah, some die young, deeper than they were ready for, and BMAS gets cut down. Brokey, it all falls onto him. He had a very quiet first half of play, but all of that might not matter if here, in overtime, he stops this from going on any longer than what was the 1v1, now 1v2. Magic's dropping down to B, and Brokey is wrapping oh, in through lobby. He's going to have no idea. That door gets opened. I think Brokey's too far away to even hear it, and as this bomb goes down, Brokey now, a lengthy rotation back into this round. Magix has all the time in the world to get set up in the post plant here. He's holding the vents. Brokey's coming from this position, and he's not going to get many chances. Oh, Brokey God. nails it the first time around. And just like that phase, they're going to lock in the victory here and now. They stop the OTs in their tracks, and they...